Hello guys, this is tutorial number 5 for Silent 12.2 In this tutorial I will show you guys how to make a symbol In my case I'm going to make a 2 to 1 max And then use that symbol to make a 4 to 1 max So I'm gonna go ahead and build my 2 to 1 max Okay, so I built my 2 to 1 max And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and save it Go to tools, check, check schematic, and make sure I have no errors or warnings. Go to tools again, go to symbol wizard. I'm going to choose uh, using schematic and rectangular, then click next. And then here it's very important that you guys check your inputs and outputs. Make sure that your inputs are are set as inputs and your outputs are set as outputs and then this uh, the side is basically where your input will be shown on your rectangle or square and that's how I want it so then click next and then next and finish and this is basically showing you how your mox looks and then you could close this one and there you have your you may create your own symbol now in your design window, go ahead and right click, create another schematic, and I'm going to make this one my four, my max four to one. And then I'm just going to go to the symbols, and you should be able to find your symbol that you created. So my symbols name, my symbol name is max two to one. Another max. Okay. Uh, there are different ways of creating a four to one max, but this is the way I prefer to do it. Okay. Okay, guys. So once you build your your schematic. For me, in my case, will be my 421 max using my 221. You should be able to, in the design window, see that your max or your symbol was instantiated. And then the next step is to go ahead and test it with a test bench. So I'm going to go ahead and create a test bench to test it, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I built my test bench. Uh, it looks very long. It looks like a lot of work, mm, but this is the way you could do it, a simple way. I'm going to try to figure out whether there is a way we could use a for loop or, or nib or something to run this without having to write as much code. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our simulation. Mm. So change it to simulation on the left side window. Check your test bench. Make sure it's all good. And then run your behavioral model. So we can see what we got for outputs. And then so if you check your outputs, you should be able to see correctly what you want. And that's it guys. 